Hey, hey. Ready to party? Man, I am so ready for a night of drinks and dancing. Yeah, look at me. Wore my best flannel just for the occasion. Speaking of clothes, why uh, aren't you dressed? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. What do you mean, what do I mean? You're wearing your binge-watch Netflix all-night cardigan. Wait. What do you mean you're not going? But you've looked forward to this all week. You even went shopping for an outfit to wear tonight. What changed? Come on. Tell me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you heard from one of your friends that, uh, uh, they <laughs> might be there. Hmm. Come on, let's, uh, let's sit on the couch and we'll talk about this. No bullshit. Come on, lay it on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay, I mean, that makes sense. You're still angry about what they did to you, and... No, 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 I think it's more than fine to be angry or hurt. You're only human after all, but... I don't know, it, it sounds like you're allowing yourself to be controlled by their actions. I mean, you were looking forward to this night as much as I was. And the moment you hear that person might be there, you hole up and decide not to go? How's that fair to you? Hmm. So, you're conflicted. About what? You're thinking about whether or not hanging on to this, uh, resentment is worth it. Hmm. I'm afraid that's a question only you can answer. Either way you choose, it's going to have an impact on your life. Huh? You want to know what I think? You sure about that? I mean, it might not be what you want to hear. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, since you asked. I mean, I've, I've walked with you through this. I've seen the toll it's taken on you. Resentment can most certainly feel like it gives you a drive, but really what it does is hold you back. It's almost like watching you dig yourself into a pit. You know, like you're too focused on the hurt and the pain that person has caused that you don't realize that you're not moving forward, only downward. Hatred is a greedy thing, and it will demand more than you offered and take more than you can give. I mean, hatred consumes, and forgiveness releases. I mean, despite what you think, forgiveness isn't about showing weakness. It's more about strength and resilience, you know, like moving forward despite what's happened before. It's about choosing to not let what they've done control your life. Know what I mean? Hmm? No, no, no. Don't, don't misunderstand. I'm not about to excuse that person's behavior. <sighs> what that person did to you it was deplorable, inexcusable. I still remember how long it took you to lift up your eyes from the ground, and every time you did, they'd be full of tears. And hell, even now, whenever that person crosses my mind, my stomach twists in knots. Then it's like a, a wave of adrenaline goes straight to my head, and I feel like I could really do some damage, you know? Like, given the punishment they deserve for what they've done... I mean, if that's what it's like for me, I, I can't imagine... 
what you have to deal with every day. It's just, you are so incredible. You know that, don't you? You've endured so many things, overcome so much already that I want you to live life the way you were meant to live it. Free of anything that would hold you back. I don't want this person to have that kind of power over you. And I certainly don't want this to be what defeats you. Hmm? Well, I mean, that's up to you. Whether you choose to hold on to it or to let it go, the best favor you can do for yourself is to learn from it. What? Well, <laughs> dear God, no. I'm not saying you should trust them again. That's not forgiveness. That's stupidity. If you became all buddy-buddy with that person again, you'd be getting an earful from me. At, at least, trust me. <laughs> uh, what a... How do I put this? Don't, what was it? There's a saying, it's like, don't cast your pearls before swine. And I, I'm pretty sure what that means is don't give what's important to people who will trample all over your gifts. The four T's, right? Like the four T's. Okay, so as they're more famously called, it's like your time, talents, your treasures and your trust. People have to work hard and prove themselves to earn these things from you, you know? Once they do, then there's someone worthy of you. <laughs> like me. Wow. Well, thank you. But, <laughs> you know. Look, at the end of the day, your chances of running into that person eventually are pretty high. Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to raise up your head, look them in the eye, and let them see that they haven't defeated you? That you've won? That you're choosing to live your life to the best of your abilities? I mean, isn't that the real goal? Well, I've said my opinion. Either way you choose, I'm here for you, and I'll support your decision. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Now come here. Let me give you a big hug. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah? Good. Now, if you're still not up to going tonight, I completely understand. We can order a pizza or something. Watch some Netflix? I mean, I heard the Dark Crystal series is pretty amazing. Hey, you okay? You have this intense look on your face. Hey, where are you going? Give you 20 minutes. What for? You want to get out of the pit, huh? Well, okay. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then <laughs> go go right ahead. Real quick, um, before you go, give me your hand. Yeah, 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 give me your hand. Look at me, okay? I'm really, really proud of you. We'll go tonight and have a great time like we'd planned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll dance our troubles away. And hey, I'll be by your side the entire time. If they show up and the situation becomes too much to handle, we can always leave and come right back here and binge watch Netflix together, okay? All right. All right. Now, go get ready. I'll wait here. <laughs>